may be nearly a hundred years since the end of the First World War, but today's younger generation put just as much effort into remembering the loss of life that took place almost a century ago as those who were there. Schools around Bristol held their own minute silence. Well, I study history and I just, I've learnt about all these things in my GCSE and it's just, it's horrible really and the amount of people that died, it's just, I don't want to think about it. It feels good for me but I still do feel sorry for all of those who did have family members that, who did die. It was the first time I've ever performed the last post and next year it's going to be up to me by myself. Uh, it means quite a lot to me because of all of the war and the stuff and all the people that have died and all sorts. So. Um, well, my great granddad was in the war um, and he had his hip shot off in the war. You know, an important occasion for the school and obviously for the country and for the world and they really, really did show uh, how proud we can be of them, yeah. I think for all of our children within school to actually have that message about the fact that we're able to come to school as we have today because of sacrifices that were made in the past and you know is, is a really important message for them to get they are getting to understand that as well and actually they by the way that they were standing today and the, the solemnness of their attitudes I think reflects that as well. Yeah. It's certainly something that we obviously focus on on 11th of November in particular but it's actually something that we do talk about on the run up to it as well. We obviously sell poppies at school as well so pupils are able to be wearing that as you know that symbol which is really important 